Hey there everyone, it's Braden here for GSHelper.com and today I'm really excited to show you our latest template available now on our site. This is the Tool Quest or the Hidden Objects template. Now we've spent a lot of time making this template extremely easy and util utilizing the new features in GameSolid 0.11 so that it's extremely easy to use and to edit and to add more objects to a scene for example. Now before uh, we had table-to-table -table expressions. You could still do these type of templates, but the code would be double, and you'd have to worry about a lot of things, and it would require a lot of editing. But with this template, we've used the new table-to-table -table expressions, writable tables, and all those new features to make it extremely simple to use and edit. So let me go ahead and jump in. Uh, I do want to point out, first of all, that all of the art comes with this template, so feel free to use it any way you wish. You can use it in your own game, make a ton of levels, and ship it off to the App Store, or you could uh, buy more art, whatever you want, but it does come with the template. Additionally, we have two languages built into this template, so if you want to know how to implement uh, two different languages into a game, this is a great way to do it. Uh, right now it's set to English. If we t uh, press this little button again, it'll switch to Spanish, uh, and then you can switch it back and forth, but I'll keep it on English for right now. Uh, we'll go ahead to uh, the main scene. And here's the main scene. Uh, you'll see we have a score meter and a timer box right here. Uh, we haven't added the timer or a score. We wanted you to be able to do that on your own. Uh, if you did want a timer or whatnot, you can take that out if you want. Uh, additionally, you'll see all of the things we have to find in this level. Uh, and so let's see, we'll go ahead and find, uh, what should we, the saw blade. Um, so you know how these games work. Uh, you go around and you tap the item once you find it. You'll notice we have some really awesome particle effects coming from the window. I just think that's really cool. It really adds to the, the game. Oh, here's the saw blade. We'll go ahead and click that. And you'll see that uh, I've turned this, the sound off for this demo video, but there, does, there is a sound that plays once you find an item. And it'll say uh, item found. And let's see the screwdriver. Where is the screwdriver? Let's see. Uh, is there a wrench? Yep, okay, a wrench right here. I see the wrench up here in the window. Item found. Uh, let's see, hammer. There's the hammer. Hand drill. Found the hand drill. Oh, sledgehammer. There you go. Power drill. Where is the power drill? I do not see the power. Oh, uh, level. There's a level up here. And let's see. Here, is, that, is there a tape? Yep, tape measurer. The bolt is right here. Crowbar. Crowbar. Where is the crowbar? I don't see the crowbar. Power drill, is there something around here? Let's see. Oh, what's this? The, yep. Okay, and then let's see. Is there anything else in here? Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a crowbar. Helmet. Oh, I think I just saw, yep, there's the helmet. And the screwdriver. Oh, I think it's in the bookshelf right there. Once we find everything, the game fades out, and we've just added this. You'll see a book pops up. And if you have a story in your Hidden Objects game, this is where you can add it. Um, again, like I've said earlier, all you really have to do for this template is drag on the actor, apply an image, and change the self-attribute. And then you just go into a table and name it, and you are you're done. That's how you add an item. You don't have to uh, create a new actor, place it on the scene, change self attributes, and then create new rules for when it's found. Everything else is taken care of. It's just dragging onto the scene, applying an image, changing an attribute, and then changing the table. And you can build. We built this level in you know 10 minutes. It was extremely easy. And uh, the items in your item bar can be edited. This is extremely easy to edit. Um, we have named all of the rules so uh, you can figure out how to use it. Um, we might even do a little how to edit video although we've really made it extremely simple so we might not do that because uh, it's we'll add notes and everything in there. So uh, yeah that's about it guys for right now. Again I'll just go ahead and restart and show you the Spanish version and you see all of the words are now in Spanish and so um, you can do all that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this short video. I really like this template and I hope you guys do too. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.